been a while. I haven't done a video for a while, and I thought I would share this little bit of information with you. Um, if you ever needed buttermilk, and of course you didn't have it. If you're like me, we don't use a lot of buttermilk in the house, but every now and again I do need it, and I've resorted to that powdered stuff, which is really gross. doesn't like to mix well, and I don't know that it actually works. Or you try to take whole milk, Put some vinegar or some lemon juice or something in it to sour it up and that just tastes nasty it works but it tastes nasty well i learned of a way to be able to keep buttermilk all the time and what i didn't realize i guess i knew it but i never thought of it is buttermilk is already soured milk already spoiled so to speak it's kind of like yogurt you know yogurt is fermented well, buttermilk is too. And there are ways that, that you can take the milk that you have, your whole milks, goat milk, any kind of mammal milk, not plant-based milk, and make buttermilk out of it. Not quickly, you don't want it, you're not gonna be able to do it the day you need it, but you can do it and have it and keep it on hand all the time, all the time. What you've got to have is you've got to have some milk. Now I have two quarts of this Dairy Pure. It's 2% um, reduced fat milk. It's uh, highly processed so that this paper carton, it can stay in this paper carton, it's shelf stable. I had bought this um, last year, you know, during the pandemic so that I had milk if things got really bad. And so it's, it's more than past its best buy date. Um, doesn't mean it's bad it's just not at its best and the best buy date and, and use by date and sell by dates those are all for another conversation but uh, so I had this and I thought I'm, I'm gonna try it with this well then I went and picked up now this is for a quarter milk this is this is or a half gallon of milk this is this is kind of um, kind of expensive stuff. This is 100% grass-fed, organic whole milk, ultra-pasteurized. I didn't see any that wasn't ultra-pasteurized, but ultra-pasteurized, organic, grass-fed whole milk. And the reason I got this is because most of the buttermilk that you get, like this, is cultured low-fat and on a scale of one to 10, this being 10, this is probably three. It's good, good to drink, good to cook with and everything, but this high, high dollar stuff, if you um, were to try to get a, 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 an organic uh, grass-fed buttermilk like this from the store, 10, 12, $15, a half a gallon. So I thought, well, I'm gonna try this. And if, you know, when it works, I'm gonna make some really nice bread with it. So all you have to do, it's so simple. It's so simple. You need a container or use the carton that your milk came in. Now, if you have a full carton of milk, plastic jug, paper carton, whatever, you're going to have to pour some off because you're going to be adding about a quarter cup of regular buttermilk to it. Now, I'm using my mason jars. These are some of my older jars that I won't, I won't pressure can or water bath can in anymore. Um, and it's just as simple as this. Now, I am going to pour the buttermilk in first so that it mixes well. And you need about a quarter cup I'm gonna call that a quarter cup. You can measure it out. It doesn't have to be exact. As a matter of fact, it can be whatever's left in your jug, even if it's just a little bit, and you can just swirl it around in there. And then, to show you, I'm gonna use this Dairy Pure because my expensive one's empty. I used it, I'll show it to you. And this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pour this into my jar and like I said, I put the buttermilk in first so that the process of pouring this in will help mix it. 
and I'm not going to pour it clear to the top, so there will be a little bit left in here. Then I'm going to put my lid on. And you can shake it to mix it, but I've already, I've already mixed it by pouring it in. And then the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Sharpie marker and I'm going to write today's date on it. And I'm going to write that it was dairy pure milk so that I know what kind of milk is in, was in here. How much cultured buttermilk. And, you know, well, I've already said today's date. I'm going to write it on here with a Sharpie. And the reason I'm going to use a Sharpie is it's not going to wear off with my hand, but I can use a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel and wipe it clean. And then this is going to set on my counter overnight anyway. And I'm going to check it tomorrow and see if it's thickened up like buttermilk. And when it has, it goes in the refrigerator. So the bacteria that's in here doesn't need heat. Uh, it just needs room temperature. It doesn't need to, to boil or get to 180 degrees like, like yogurt does. So it just, you know, it's, it's just going to sit on the counter and do its thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack the lid just enough so that some of the um, some of the uh, uh, gases can escape, and and it's gonna sit there. And what's gonna happen? This is the one I did the other day, and it only took a couple days. I don't know if you can see how thick that is in there. Let me just get this little cup. I should have done this already. I'm just going to pour this. Now, this is the same. It was the same um, Dairy Pure. I had two packages. Can you see that? See how thick and buttermilky it is? And it has that buttermilk sour smell to it. Fresh sour, not like needs to go into the septic tank sour. So it's really, really nice. Now, I don't like to eat or drink buttermilk, so I'm not going to taste it. But I do like to cook with it, to bake with it. Now, I also have this one from, now I did, uh, this is obviously a, a half a gallon, uh, the organic grass-fed, Maple Hill grass-fed organic milk that I put the, the same amount of buttermilk in. And it said, now this took a little longer because it's much bigger to, half a gallon instead of a quart. Come on. And it is nice and thick as well. And if you notice that it's too thick, like a glob, like a yogurt glob, just put the lid on and give it a good shake. Hopefully I won't spill this. And you can, if you can see that nice thick, like the other one was. Nice, thick, buttermilky, high dollar buttermilk. And it also has that good buttermilk smell, fresh buttermilk smell. I slobbered that on there. Put the lid back on, it's going back in the refrigerator. And that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. And it's gonna set overnight, I'm gonna check it in the morning and, and watch it throughout the day and uh, <laughs> buttermilk from like a quarter cup. So I've, I've saved this, uh, something that was close to the end of its life. I've saved it by creating buttermilk with it. And I'll use it in, in breads and biscuits and stuff, cakes. Um, and I've created a really, really nice high dollar buttermilk out of just this. And if you need to, you can freeze it. And I would put it in ice cube trays and freeze it that way. Two ice cubes, I think, comes out to a quarter cup. So when you're cooking and you need, you know, a little buttermilk. Because it doesn't kill the bacteria. It just makes it go dormant. And then later, uh, I'm going to do a video on making some cheese out of this buttermilk. It, it's, um, it comes out to be like a really fresh... Uh, cream cheesy, 
creme fraiche type uh, product that you can salt, you can put chives in it, just like you would any other uh, of those types of cheeses. But, you know, this is quick, this is simple, and it is perpetual, perpetual. I can, from now on, take, you know, a quarter cup of this that I have left, pour it in a, in a half a gallon or a quart of, um, of milk in a couple days, keep it going. Just come, it's like a sourdough starter. Just add a little bit here, a little bit there, take out a little bit, put a little bit more back in. Works just fine. So I'm going to leave you with this now, and I thank you for sticking around this long, and uh, please like, share, um, rumble, pass on the word, and I'll, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.